Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the thing that you saw in the thumbnails. I'm going to be unboxing um, Bell. Sort of. I actually already um, took the plastic thing off of it because uh, I heard something rattling. I was a little concerned, but it's okay. But I'm going to kind of pretend that it's not unboxed. This is um, the latest movie from Mamaro Hosada. Mamaro Hosada started his uh, career essentially with the girl who leapt through time. Before that though he worked on a bunch of Digimon stuff including Digimon the movie. Um, this is the special edition for the girl who leapt through time which has like the soundtrack, the uh, movie on DVD, and then the movie with uh, with um, storyboards on DVD. There is a Blu-ray set out from G Kids and um, that has uh, from this and that has um, a lot of little uh, extras, um, pay, pay, um, books and such. So that's a neat little thing. But yeah, um, started with uh, the girl who left through time, right? And then from there went on to Summer Wars, and then from there I think it was um, Wolf Children. The Boy and the Beast, Mirai, and then finally Belle. I saw Belle in theaters. I saw it in the theaters with the English dub. Um, this set, um, this is my ticket for it. This set over here, this set is the, is the new um, 4K release for it. Here's the little card for that. And we're going to open this up a little bit. It's got a nice little box and it comes with a couple little extras. Um, there is an art book and notes with um, all sorts of little all sorts of little great um, promotional stuff. Hold on a second. Let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. There we go. And then there is a poster. The uh, poster is of the um, theatrical release poster. That's okay. We have a sticker of um, the, one of the main character's um, friends as a little um, avatar. We have art books over here, which if you open this up pretty, pretty easily, there's a couple art prints. They're made like uh, a little bit like postcards. That one's kind of cool. And these are kind of cool. These little art prints are... Oh, the, there's more in here. One more. It says, let me know your heart. These are a pretty decent little size. Um, these types of postcard art prints, um, there is a particular IKEA frame, which is perfect for these. And I recommend people check it out. If you're one of those people that wants to display them. And then we have this over here. It shows the service for you. You have the feature film. You have the feature film and then the bonus features. Blu-ray, Blu-ray. These are Region A Blu-rays. I think. Uh, yeah, it's a member. All 4K stuff. 4K, 4K Ultra, Ultra UHDs are all region free. However, Blu-rays aren't always region free and I think these particular Blu-rays may be region A. Yep, they're region A. So if you were picking this up outside of the United States, this will work anywhere. These, not so much. Now this right here for the feature film is pretty much the same features that were on the original Blu-ray release. There's some additional bonus features that are only on this set that are not in the original release and let's uh... I don't have a thing to clip that into so that's gonna have to go inside the little book or inside here with the art there you go so I put my uh, ticket in there and yeah let's go ahead and put these in here I don't think I'm going to use the, uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to use 
the um, <sighs> art books or any of that other stuff there. I will, I will read through the art book. There's some essays and things in there. Looks pretty good. But generally, oh, I like this, by the way. This has a uh, kind of a soft feel to it. Here's the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. It is red PG. It's got a really nice cover art and then on the bottom here. Anywho, I'm going to just get rid of my old Blu-ray for that because um, there's nothing that's on this that's not on the new blue, on the new set, and the new set has more stuff, including 4K. So I'm gonna just sell that. Anywho, I think Bell is pretty okay. I liked it more than Mirai. I would say it's up there with like The Boy and the Beast is pretty good. I feel like uh, Girl Who Left You Time is Mamoru Hosada's masterpiece. Summer War is a really close second and then Wolf Children is a very close third. I don't know, I feel like Belle is okay. I liked it more than Mirai. I liked it about as much as The Boy and the Beast and I felt that um, it's much more mainstream than Wolf Children, <laughs> and um, I still think Summer Wars and uh, Girl Who Left Your Time are the movies that people should see if you're going to get into Mamoru Hosada's work. Personally, this right here, um, I will have to see how that 4K transfer looks and everything, but uh, if they want to give me a set like this, for all of these, I would be so happy, considering they're all pretty much kind of owned by the same thing. I mean, this is G-Kids, right? Um, I think some of these are Funimation, and G-Kids worked with them. But yeah, um, personally, G-Kids should have all the rights. It used to be Bandai, then Funimation, and then stuff like that. But yeah. I would like something like this with a 4K presentation for the rest of Hosada, um, um, Mamoru Hosada's uh, stuff. Because frankly, we need more boutique releases of anime. We need more of these 4K um, releases that are just chock full of extras and stuff and a really good transfer. Because honestly, I feel like animation is kind of ignored by many of the boutique labels. I mean, Vinegar Syndrome, Arrow, and uh, Criterion have a little bit. I mean, at the time of this, Criterion just announced Wally, -E. <laughs> so that makes that brings them up to essentially four things on on Blu-ray and one in um, 4K HD. I mean, they did at one point release Akira on Laserdisc, Akira on Laserdisc, and then they had a. Uh, um, Fantastic Planet, Watership Down, and the Fantastic Mr. Fox, and then the new thing they added was Wally. -E, which, hey, if you're gonna do Pixar Disney stuff um, in a Criterion collection, there's a lot of other animation out there that could use a Criterion release. <clears throat> but yeah, this this is the closest we've got to a Criterion release. I think that G Kids needs to um, <laughs> this needs to be successful. Y'all need to go out and buy this so that they look at it and go, you know what, we should do other releases like this. And they should. I mean, if they want to re-release, like, I would love to see Secret of Kells, Wolf Walkers, and um, Song of the Sea in 4K. Because it's got the TV for it and HDR, you know, high dynamic, um, yeah. Yeah, that, that we need that. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think. Out of all the different um, Hosa Mamoru Hosada films, which ones have you seen, if any? And which ones are your favorite, if any? What did you think of Belle? Pretty good movie, or meh? Some people thought it was mid. I thought it was okay. I liked it more than Mirai. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments below, and until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.